Well, no wonder I can't get any work done. This chair is so uncomfortable. <sighs> Once I fix it, then the ideas will start flowing. <laughs> this may have been a mistake. Still stuck for new ideas? Never should have let Luke and Larry convince me to link my comic strip to their high school website. I've had to tailor my work to a whole new audience. What do I know about what kids like nowadays? How do they talk? What are they wearing? Do they still enjoy the loud music? You do know we have kids, right? Kids, I have to put out a new comic today. Hurry up and do something funny. Okay, clearly you're building to something. You keep at it, I'm gonna get my sketch pad. Hey guys, what's for breakfast? Ah! And why is it on full speed? Ow, ow. Why am I back in bed? Really? Nothing? Does no one in this family do anything interesting? Larry, great game last night. What did you think of my quarterback sneak? I don't remember any quarterback sneak. That's because I was extra sneaky. <laughs> I snuck out of the game and went home in the second quarter. We lost 34 to nothing. Just goes to show you, the team can't function without me. And you can put that in the can and call it ham. Put what in a can? What are you talking about? It's my new catchphrase. I'm confused. I thought catchphrases were supposed to be catchy. The more I use it, the catchier it'll get. And you can put that in the can and call it ham. Maybe you should focus more on football. You disappeared in the middle of the game. Yeah, my fans were still chanting my name. They were trying to find you. They organized a search party. Well, it couldn't have been much of a party if I wasn't there. And you can put that in the can and call it ham. Lunch Lady Lazonka, so nice to see you. Is that a new hairnet? No chit chat. You want meat goulash or nugget of the chicken? Surprise me. I'm guessing this is the goulash. You guess wrong. Now go. No more holding up at the line. Maybe if you serve better food, this place wouldn't be such a ghost town. You go now, or this town soon have one more ghost. Oh, I'll go all right. I'll go right to the principal and insist on edible food in the cafeteria. I have been lunch lady many years. Many students challenge my power. But Lizanka still here, still strong, still ready to grind her enemies into goulash. <laughs> but not this batch. This batch good. <laughs> The next tray of appetizers is ready. Can I just say, I think this is so great that we're feeding the local wildlife. You mean the local wildlife society. They're the ones having the event. No, I mean the local wildlife. They're loving this stuff. <laughs> Birds, raccoons, even a possum stopped by for a nosh. The society people are at the food truck. What food truck? The one with a huge crowd of people around it. You should go check it out. Once you're done making all this food that only animals will eat. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, just the best thing to happen to food since sliced quinoa loaf. <laughs> and the line starts back there. I don't want your food. I just want to know what you're doing here. Did you run out of gas? Gas? What is this, 1997? <laughs> this baby runs on cooking oil and compost. Look, I get it. People like the novelty of eating trendy food off a truck. <laughs> what you call trendy is actually local, organic, GMO-free, artisanal, gluten-free, sustainable, free-range, farm-to-table cuisine. <laughs> really? So your chickens are free-range? They're so free-range, I don't even know where they are half the time. <laughs> I'm always getting postcards. I can't read this. I know. It's chicken scratch. <laughs> Still, you can't just... Park your restaurant wherever you want. My manager won't be happy about this. You got that right. <laughs> You're holding up the whole line. Another wasabi-infused, waffle-wrapped ostrich and Asiago omelet? 
That's what I love about you, Kale. You treat your regulars almost as well as your chickens. <laughs> I better get some inspiration soon or I'm gonna run out of things to fix. Dad, why is the car in pieces on the lawn? <laughs> Just tinkering with the engine a little. <laughs> Don't tell your mother. So, how was school? Fine, if you enjoy being terrorized by a hairnet wearing hag of a lunch lady. Oh, Lazank is still alive? Obviously, she doesn't eat her own goulash. Well, I have to go get ready for football practice. And he could put that in a can and call it ham. Wait, what was that you just said? Oh, you mean, and he could put that in a can and call it ham. Just some new catchphrase that I have to admit is actually pretty catchy. <laughs> That's it? That's exactly the kind of young, hip jargon that sells comic strips. <laughs> Finally, having kids paid off. <laughs> Oh, no. Everyone's staring at me. I must be either naked or on fire. <sighs> Please be fire. Please be fire. Ugh. Neither. Way to go, Larry. <laughs> you can put that in a can and call it ham. Wow, that is really catching on. <laughs> you can put in can and call it as if ham. I like you. I make you a special lunch. For you, I scrape off mold. <laughs> oh, hey, Darnell. Looks like your catchphrase went viral. So you admit that it's mine? Of course. Then explain why you're saying my catchphrase in this comic strip. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know my dad was going to use it, I swear. But don't worry. I'll tell everyone it was yours. Hey, call it ham guy. Everyone look, it's the call it ham guy. <laughs> Come on, man. Say it. Say it. Now's your chance. You can put that in the can and call it ham. What? Not you. We want to call it ham guy to say it. Yeah. Come on, man. Say it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Darnell. I'll fix this. Once the ham is out of the can, you can't put it back in, Larry. Say it. 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 Best just to say it, Larry. These mobs can turn ugly quick. Dad, we need to talk. Oh, hey, Lair. Good timing. I just finished fixing my chair. Although, there's a few extra pieces I didn't know what to do with. I can't believe you had me saying that catchphrase in your comic strip. I know. It's perfect, right? It's a universal punchline. It works in any situation. And you can put that in a can and call it ham. No, you can't put that in a can. And don't you dare call it ham. That catchphrase belongs to Darnell. And now he thinks that I stole it. It's too late now. The ham is out of the can, Larry. That catchphrase is off limits. Fine, but I think you're making a big mistake. And you can put that in a box and call it turkey. It's just not the same. Hey, Dad. I couldn't help overhearing that you might need some new material for your comic strip. It's too soon. After what I've been through, I don't know if I could ever love a catchphrase again. You won't need to. I saw how your comic made Larry into an instant school celebrity. But what if a comic could do the opposite? Make someone into a laughing stock with a comic? <laughs> that seems far-fetched. Just far-fetched enough to work? You bet. <laughs> Have a seat and we'll get started. Free tacos. Get your free gourmet tacos here. Did I mention they were free? Lisa, you can't just park yourself here and start serving food without permission. That's Kale's job. You do know I'm the caterer here, right? Are you? Help yourself. Free taco. Napkin included. No hidden charges. Just look at it. Look at the taco. What are you people afraid of? Just... The price isn't your problem. People are willing to pay for quality. Take, for example, my cruelty-free calamari. 
I personally sing each squid to sleep before I fry them. I even let them pick the song. Oh, here's someone who looks like he could use a free taco. Oh, I already had dinner. Then why are you in the food truck line? Is this the food truck line? <laughs> oh, I thought it was the line for flu shots. <laughs> and yet you're still standing here. Well, you... Just eat the taco! <laughs> oh! Mmm! This is delicious. You're not even eating it. I can see the food dropping out of your mouth. Sorry. I get nervous when people watch me eat food I don't want. Enjoy a complimentary comic strip featuring everybody's least favorite lunch lady. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll start bringing your own lunch. What is this you say about lasanka? <gasps> you say I soak feet in stew? How do you get lasanka's secret recipe? Ugh. I won't rest until the cafeteria food is at least quasi-edible. You'll be waiting a long time, cartoon boy. <laughs> I spit on your funny pages. Pui. You see what you do? That spit was meant for stew. Yay! Dad, great news. The comics are working. We've got lunch lady Lazanka rattled. So you were right. My comic strip does have the power to change public opinion. But do you know what this means? Yeah, Lazanka's going down. And unlike her food, she's not coming back up. No! It means I can use the awesome power of my comic to make things right with Larry. And then we'll get back to Lazanka? No, we need to think bigger. <sighs> my comic strip could reverse global warming or even save the rainforest. I won't stop doodling until every tree is protected, no matter how much paper it takes. <laughs> but first, Larry, go now. The hour is late and I must work. <laughs> That homemade ketchup? It's pronounced ketchup. <laughs> and yes, I grow my own heirloom tomatoes. Let me guess, before you cook them, you send each tomato on a luxury cruise? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. If you want a perfectly ripe tomato, it requires a tour of France in a hot air balloon. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to criticize your culinary technique. To be honest, I'm really impressed. Oh, well, that's high praise indeed. <laughs> Coming from the free taco lady. <laughs> I'll be right with you, folks. So, this is a uh, one-man operation, huh? Well, there's no Mrs. Kale, if that's what you're getting at. I meant it looks like you could use an assistant, someone to fill up the cats up while you feed the masses. And who would you suggest I find for such a position? <laughs> Good job, Lisa. Keep it up, and you may be looking at a bonus. A tour of France in a hot air balloon? Please, you have a long way to go before you're comparable to an heirloom tomato. <laughs> Larry, hold up. I just wanted to tell you that I'm over the whole stealing my catchphrase thing. Really? Yeah, life's too short for grudges, especially when I already have so much going for me. I'm the quarterback of a high school football team. Well, I guess that's it, really. Oh, it's my dad. Hello? Hey, buddy. Just wanted to call and say you're welcome. For what? Well, I got the feeling you were mad at me about the whole catchphrase situation. What gave you that idea? Was it when I told you that I was mad at you about the whole catchphrase situation? <laughs> that was one of the indicators. <laughs> anyway, I just made it up to you, big time. Oh, no. What did you do? Thanks to my comic strip, your popularity is about to go through the roof. But I don't think I could handle being any more popular than I am right now. Oh. Well, in that case, you're about to be disappointed. <laughs> okay, thanks for calling. You called me. <laughs> okay, bye-bye now. I had nothing to do with that. What, declaring yourself the best player on the team? Or saying that you're about to be quarterback? I have no desire to be quarterback. Hey, look, everyone, it's the future quarterback. The can of ham guy is the future quarterback. Oh, hey. 
Enjoying your newfound fame? Let's see. My best friend thinks I stole his catchphrase and that I'm gunning for his job as quarterback. How can you blame him? I mean, you were depicted doing both those things in a well-respected comic strip. <laughs> Which brings me to my point. You're no longer allowed to use me in the comic. What? It's, you can't quit. It's the Stanley dynamic. You're like the fourth most beloved character in the strip. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. On the advice of my counsel, I have to order you to cease and desist. Your counsel? Lane Stanley? Yes? You've been served. Served what? Oh, is this a menu for that new food truck I heard about? That client demands you cease using his likeness in your comic. Fine. You want out of the comic? You're out. Besides, I've got lots of other ideas for characters. Like a cute little eight-year-old lawyer. What is this? Another cease and desist letter. I had a hunch you'd try to turn my budding legal career into comic strip fodder. Oh, you're good. Are you taking new clients? I need legal advice on how to merchandise Larry's catchphrase. I'm thinking you can put that in a can and call it Ham the Movie, the Lunchbox, the Cologne, the sequel to the movie, the sequel to the Cologne. Actually, the merchandising rights have already been acquired. What? By who? By me. four crates of these bobbleheads waiting for me down at the docks. <laughs> By the way, can you give me a ride to the docks? Here you go. Enjoy your free-range, sustainable chicken mango samosa. I have no idea what any of that means, but I'll take six more to go. Lisa, six more free-range chicken mangoes to go! <laughs> that won't be possible. Because these chickens are not free-range. In fact, it's not even chicken. <laughs> Pay no attention to the crazy taco lady. Birds are birds. I mean, is there really a difference between a chicken and a pigeon? <laughs> Think about it. One lives on a farm, and the other lives in that filthy dumpster over there in that alley. I knew if I could gain access to your truck, I'd be able to dig up some dirt. And believe me, it's plenty dirty. Oh, come on. Uh, shoddy kitchen hygiene and non-chicken chickens aside. You have to admit, my food is delicious. Try a free samosa. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Just eat the samosa! Mmm, yes. Quite good. That's it. I want you out of here. And take your non-chicken chickens with you. Come on, guys. Looks like we're all free range now. Well, that's disappointing on so many levels. Keep in mind that I'm still here and ready to resume my full-time catering position. I know. I factored that in. Funny cartoon boy. <laughs> Thanks to you, principal decide to make changes to cafeteria menu. No more goulash, no more nugget of chicken, and now no more lizanka. I didn't mean for you to get fired. I'm sure if I talk to the principal, I can get you your job back. Don't even think of it. Thanks to not taking vacation in 30 years, lizanka received very generous retirement package. <laughs> How generous are we talking here? Let's just say big school trip has been postponed for, uh, ever. <laughs> Don't worry, cartoon boy. The Zonka promised not to tell who responsible for canceled trip. Thank you. Comic strip? Make no such promises. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad. Goodbye, cartoon boy. Have nice life. What little left of it. <laughs> Please, no more showering me with praise. I'm not in the mood. Why would I do that? You're just the lame guy with the lame catchphrase. <laughs> hey, 
way, I was right. It did get super annoying. Larry, you ready for tonight's game? I thought you were mad at me. Nah, if anything, I owe you. Seeing you challenge my position in that comic strip really lit a fire under me. I've fallen in love with football all over again. That's great. The team is in good hands with you as quarterback. And you could put that in a can and call it ham. Actually, I'm gonna quarterback sneak out of here right now. I don't know which one of us is more unpopular these days. Did you know someone welded my locker shut? Mine too. Only, I was inside of it. Yep, you win. So, what's it gonna be? Shrimp pot pie with a wasabi mayo? Or polenta sticks with a tomato reduction sauce? I never thought I'd miss the goulash. Do you have any nuggets of the chicken? That depends. How flexible is your definition of chicken? 